Okay, here we are building a two-in-one diagnostic and dead test cartridge for a Commodore 64.
Yeah, well, whoever, Saturday, I have a customer joke here. So check here, check here, yeah? This is a nice laptop, this is a nice one. i7, probably Nvidia graphics, MSI. This is a nice one. And the customer is saying, uh, motherboard file, battery is disconnected, plus downer board. You can't believe the customer sent me a motherboard for spares. I mean, we should, we should be able to fix this. I mean, 100%, right? Yeah. What the customer said, I believe this, this guy is killed who sent me the... I don't know if it's a computer shop or not. He said he checked the motherboard and, uh, and the power is going to a certain point and that's all. So let's open this quickly and have a look inside. Okay, so the laptop is open. Oh, that's the battery. Okay. And the motherboard is looking fine. It's nice. Huh? So can you spot anything wrong here on this uh, board? Hmm? So what we are checking first? What we are checking first? First we are checking the main power error. That can be a reason why we cannot fix this. Yeah. I mean, if we have a faulty CPU or GPU or chipset, then yeah. So the main power error is not shorted. You can believe that. No, the main bottle is not shorted. Oh lord. No, it's not short. No, it's not short. Wow. Wow. Hmm. So check here, check here. We have the charging port, check here how nice it is. Charging port, first MOSFET, second MOSFET, and you see that the car, no, here is the current resistor, it's so nice. Let me plug the charger and let's test together. Okay, so I have the charger which is connected to the power supply. Let me bring the multimeter on screen quickly. Perfect. Plug in the charger. seems to be fine i mean even i see like 10 milliamps which is like the 3.3 on the io chip which looks fine but we can check that we can check that let's see we have here a bios chip and there's no voltage okay that's fair the power button is not here nothing 1.8 that's good nothing 1.8 1.5 Why? What is this? What about main power rail? One second The main power rail is 19.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 And it's going down. I, I don't know what is here. What is this power supply? Okay, that's strange. That's weird. And what the customer is saying, that's what the customer writes, not charging on this battery as battery is plugged. Charger working perfectly, laptop works fine on charge button. Let's offer quickly the laptop and have a look inside. Okay, and the laptop is open. So, uh, okay, we have a standard uh, blue pin HP charger. Let's plug the charger and see what's happened. So I have my charger, which is connected to the power supply. And now we need the blue pin, the HP blue pin, which is this one. Now let's switch the power supply to 19 volts. Some amps, not too much. Plug in the charger and it's doing nothing. It's taking no current. Pressing the power button. 
Nothing. You say you cannot cover nothing. Okay, so what we are checking first? Mm -hmm. I mean, first to check probably is to see if we have power on the charging port, right? On the charging port connector. So the charging port is coming here. A multimeter. Ground. We are not taking ground from here. You can see we have uh, black, red, and white. White is the charger I did in. So ground from here and plus here. And we do have, yeah, the customer is right. Check that, 19.4 volts. So the customer is right. The, the, the U, we have zero because this power supply is not outputting anything. So we're going to focus on this power supply to see which. And we have a look on the other side. Okay, so we took the motherboard out. Let's see, so on the other side of the coil and the MOSFETs, we have a chip, you can see it. Let's check what chip it is. Intercell 9538CH. Okay, this is an interesting chip. Let me plug the charger and ch let's check if we have any input voltage. So I plug the charger and what do we have here? Here we have nothing here we have nothing here we have nothing and here we have 0 0.7 here we have 19 lower so we do have 19 okay that sucks yeah probably the chip is gone but before before replacing the chip let's check the MOSFETs to be sure the MOSFETs are good So the MOSFETs are good. This one is good. This one is good. Good and good. Okay, let's find the cheap data sheet. Okay, I found it. I found it. So check here. Yeah. So this is our schematic. So we have four MOSFETs to here to here with the coil on the middle. So uh, what we are looking for, basically we are looking for charger detect and the chip enable DC and this is present. I mean, kind of pointless. Because probably the chip is dead, you know what I mean? It's not much what we can check here. Okay, 